Um. There you see what it is. Got three blaster box, 43, 24, open geography, featuring eight cards per pack, nine packs per box. On the box here it says each box contains four all-star and or marquee rookie high series cards on average. So let's check out the retail configuration of OBG and note the differences between it and Hub. So there's that. But before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by GB Sports Cards. Be sure to check out the Quebec Expo Break Mega Mixer going down this Friday, February 9th. It's a big one featuring two boxes of the cup, GP Buy Box, which features 15 cards or more with $4,000 plus in total value, eight total boxes of stature, and some OPG boxes. So that's all going down this Friday, February 9th. Also, if you're looking to purchase sealed boxes yourself, check out Total Sports Card and be sure to call or email for new slash upcoming products. So thank you, GP, for sponsoring today's video. All links will be in the description and let's get into today's video. All right, OPG Retail. We got three blasters here. Check out the configuration. Before I get you on, these blasters cost. I believe they're like 35, 30 to 35 there. For OPG, typically these are like 20, 25 bucks Canadian. So retail is up a bit, but what should we expect here? Well, first off, OPG Retail is just a dumbed down version of hobby. Basically what's on here is what you can get. So essentially you cannot get the numbered card. You cannot get the patches. You cannot get platinum previews. It's a very dumbed down prop. But I stay on the front of the box. We should be getting four high series cards. So cards 501 to 600. There were one or two packs. So I guess we have a chance at five because we get nine packs in here. We get one blue border, one and six have a 50 50 shot at two. It's one in four blasters for a red border. Should be getting four retros, maybe fifth retro. The premieres are one in 12, but the key thing for here is the yellow border parallel. They are every pack. That being said, every card in the six hour card checklist could be yellow parallel. So if you want a single player like Connor Bedard, every time you open a pack, you have a one in 600 chance. At least that's how I see it. And by the way, Bedard's yellow. There's a couple of listings up. I would say it's a 150 to $200 card, which is a pretty decent chase there for a retail parallel. His base, by the way, is like 80 to $100 plus right now, Canadian, like 60 plus. US, which is ridiculous. So, I mean, Bernard's in here. There's some good potential in here. So, yeah, let's check out some blasters of OPG and hopefully get more rookies and all stars. Okay, first blaster OPG retail. Let's hopefully pull that Bernard yellow. That's the main chase here. I mean, 150, 200 seems kind of low for a pretty tough pull. I mean, red borders seem kind of undervalued considering how hard they are. They're one per box and they go with the entire 600 card checklist. So, if you want one specific red border, they're 37 and a half cases to be exact. So, not easy there. Kind of an underrated parallel, I would say. But let's check out OPG retail, which you get two less cards per pack in retail. It's 10 in hobby, 8 in retail, but we got Hannafin, Schmaltz, Philip Ronick. So here's the first yellow right there. There you go, decent yellow border there for Philip Ronick. Back is colored as well, nice. Because your typical back is black and white. There's no foil at all on there either, like in the bottom part. So there's that. There's the retros, which are one of two packs. Mark andre Fleury. Pretty sure blank box won't be in here. And we got some more base here. Okay. <laughs> and for the base set, there's some definite dated cards in here. Right, Kulak was pointed out. Shows him with the Habs. You know, he hasn't been on the Habs since two years ago, 21-22. He was traded away from the Habs. Zach Cassian showed on the Oilers even though he last played on the Oilers in 21-22. So there's some dated base cards in here for sure, which is kind of funny, but they're back when we're in the A. Yep, All-Star, so we got one of the short prints in the yellow, but it's Jack Hughes there, Kate. Okay, that's not too bad. Not sure if I have comps for any of these, but there's a Sean Farrell marquee rookie. There's one of our rookies. Gibson, Foodie, more base there, Kate. Okay. Next pack up here, there's Jeff Skinner. We got Honors Lee, so every pack to yellow. There you go, there's Lee. Stuart Skinner retro, and more base there. And let's continue on here. There's Matheson, Jason Robertson, Zach, yellow. You can put this one with Kulak and Cassian. Zach hasn't played for the Devils since 21 22, also. So, another weird one there. So, I mean, I don't expect to pull the Bedard yellow. It's just way too tough. We got 27 packs from three blasters. So, 27 out of 600 shot at pulling Bedard. There's a quick retro still on the Kings there. Like, that's pretty out of date right there. Blue Jackets, great. Jonathan Quick there. Okay. Base. There's several players in here that have cards that have pictures of them from two or more teams ago. But there's Jansen Riley Smith, who's on the Pens now. Miko Ranton, yellow. Okay. There's a Provorov blue. He should be getting one with a 50 50 shot at two. But there's Blue Provorov. There's one of the high series of Marner there. Okay. Base. All right, so we got a checklist. That's cards 401 to 500 there for the checklist, Kate. Uh, they got Devontae's yellow border, so we get plenty of yellows. There's Ryan McDonough retro, and we got more base there, Kate. Continuing on here, uh, yeah, Hellbuck. I mean, wouldn't mind just a base Bedard in here. The marquee rookie, that's still reasonably not that easy, considering there's almost 60 rookies in here. We could be getting a marquee rookie or an all-star there, but there's a Hellbuck yellow. Oh, there's another marquee rookie, William Dufour. Kate, okay, another marquee rookie. He's a carryover, more base. Two more packs here, the first blaster. Oh, we got a leaf there. Oh, Kopitar Premier, so these aren't guaranteed. But there's a Premier of Kopitar. And hey, that's a nice pull right there. Matthew Nice, yellow, so not sure if there's any sale to this, but I'd like to think that's a pretty decent pull there for Nice. Kate, okay. Colin Miller Retro, and more base. And a foul pack. First blaster of OPG. We have Jesper Fast, yellow, and All Stars Hellbucks. So no Bedard in the first blast. I mean, we did get a rookie in the yellow, so I can't complain there. It's a pretty good rookie, so beeping thing. Didn't even notice a double beeping thing. Jeez. Bought these from a shop. Did not get these from your best pals, but let's continue on here. We 
Yeah. Oh, there you go. Luke Evangelista. Yellow marquee rookie. So there you go. Yellow border marquee rookie of Evangelista. Color match there for the Preds. So Evangelista, nice. Jonathan Gruden marquee rookie. So a couple of rookies in that pack. Gives me hope that we can get a Bedard in here. But, ooh, we got a red, which is 136. Uh, we got Charlie Coyle in. 3 2 1. Bim. Vander Kane. So there's a Charlie Coyle yellow. Another color match there. And there's a red. Vander Kane. These are tough. These reds. So there's Kane. Like one and four blasters. So there's a Silverberg retro with more base there. And let's continue on here. We have, I mean, decent value proposition here. Good upside for Bedard. EX is a parallel every pack. Another card past 500 there. Troy Terry All Stars. Oh, another one. Uh, Andre Svechikov. Just the basic one there. It's not yellow. More base. And then we have Brady Shea. Yellow. Then we got Sam Gerard Retro with more base there. We got Sharon Govich still in the Devils. Nate Schmidt. Manjipane Yellow. Oh, Kucherov Blue All Stars. Okay. And more base there, including a checklist. That's a high series one. 501 to 600 there. So there's all the rookies. 582 is Connor Bedard. So there's that base. And let's continue on here. We got Darcy Kemp. Yellow. Then we got Connor Hellbuck Retro. Base cake. Three more packs of Blaster 2. We got Jonathan Gruden. We're getting yellow rookies, but not the right one. There's Gruden. Another color match. So, okay. You sell Parson Retro with more base behind him there. Okay. Second last pack. Second Blaster. We got another high series card. Troy Terry. All-Star. Yellow. Okay. Another one there. Matthew Kachuk. Base. I mean, we're getting plenty of them here. Come on. Bedard's got to be in here somewhere. We have David Pasternak. Yellow. And Georgiev Retro. Okay. To finish off the second Blaster. Now let's open the third and final Blaster. Vopi Chief. I do have a hobby case of this. I'm looking forward to opening that. Not sure how many parts that's going to be, but hopefully get at least a Bedard in there. I don't even know if it's guaranteed, but there's a Dvorak yellow to start things off there. We've got a rookie behind him. Arno Durando rookie. Okay, we got more base. Next up here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a Premier and it's red. There you go. It's a rookie. Luke Hughes. Nice. Okay. Luke Hughes Premier. Decent one there. These aren't guaranteed per blaster, so there's a Premier Luke Hughes. Nice. There's a Yarn Croak yellow. There's OEL still on the Canucks retro or base there. And then we have Barrett Hayton. Yellow there. Got Dustin Wolf, marquee rookie. Nice. There's Wolf with more base behind him there. Now I'm intentionally looking for like out of date base here. There's Checklist 3 or 1 to 400. There's a Hyman Yellow. Every which way, what the heck? Natchez Retro with more base there. Okay. Or at least egregiously out of date, that is. But uh, we, yeah. JT Confer. Yellow. We got a blue. Colton Sissons. High Series. Johnny Goodrow All Star with more base there. Continue along here. The third blaster. Uh, we, yeah. Why are they all upside down now? But there's a Sprong. Okay. There's an Askarov, like Opera Duck photo shoot card there. Yeah. You can see in the background of the board. But there you go. Marky Rookie of Askarov. More base. Three more packs of OP Chi. We get. There you go. Kalak Pozo. Yellow. Ryan Johansson Retro. Okay. Two more packs left here. We get. Tarasenko. So I don't think we're getting Bedard Yellow. It's definitely tough to get the one you want. But there's a yellow Tarasenko still on the Rangers. Gray Island still on the Preds. Blue. There's Panarin. And we got more base there. Final pack. Blaster box break. I mean, decent open. Probably worth getting the blaster. Getting the player you want is definitely tough, though, for the yellows. There's Do for Rookie. Retro Rookie. There's more base behind him there including Kane still in the Chicago Blackhawks so that's another couple team old card there and Bovillia is now in the Blackhawks now so let's reveal whoever this is here it's not Bedard there Wade Allison yellow to finish off OPG retail break hey guys there's three blasters 23-24 OPG decent break I thought we did fairly decent overall got a lot of the standard stuff from OPG there like your typical marquee rookies your typical high series cards your blues your retros there the Luke Hughes premiere is nice there we did get a red border of Evander Kane so largely decent there for the miscellaneous stuff I mean granted you can't get number cards in here, but here is the retail exclusive yellows. We did fairly well. We got three rookies from three blasters. We got Jonathan Gruden, Evangelista, and Matthew Nye, so not bad there. But we did not get the Bedard. We got the Jack Hughes there, so all in all, not too bad whatsoever. Again, getting a specific player you want in the yellow is very tough. I didn't anticipate getting Bedard there, so there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come, including a case break of OPG. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.